Ciao mondo, hello world, hola mundo, hello mond, konnichiwa, ni hao. We're here today and I will present our flowchart for the management of hemodialysis patients in the moment of COVID-19 pandemic. I think this is a very important issue. Yesterday we discussed how to manage the PD patients. We will discuss in one of the next cappuccinos the management of the ICU patient that require renal replacement therapy. But here we're discussing our flowchart for uh, the case of uh, uh, hemodialysis. And I would like to show you specifically <coughs> that we teach the patient the preventive general measures, including wearing personal protection devices uh, during access to the center, triage and treatment. Patient uh, coming on cumulative transport are located in the same area within the center. And finally, personnel of the dialysis unit uh, uh, should wear also uh, personal protection devices and are assigned to specific areas. Upon arrival, the patient uh, uh, undergo a specific triage with questions, presence of symptoms, fever, cough, dyspnea, or contact with suspected positive individuals and has temperature check. If negative, he proceeds to regular dialysis treatment. If positive, with at least two symptoms of an amnestic contact with the suspected individual, he moves to protocol number two, which is based on suspicion COVID-19 on arrival. We do not allow patients to move to the ward, separate them from other patients, and if it is asymptomatic uh, contact with positive individual, gets a what swab test, and based on result, he may go to regular dialysis if negative, or if positive, follow specific uh, dialysis pattern. If symptomatic, the patient is even sent to emergency de department for triage, including swab, PCR, CT, electrolytes. And if it is in immediate need of dialysis, it goes into the dialysis center with a physical barrier or specific section. If it does not have immediate need of dialysis, we wait swab results, and depending on the results, we will do specific uh, treatment. There are two other options that the patient uh, may be uh, presenting with a suspicion of COVID-19. One is at home. In the non-dialysis day, we recommend to stay at home and call the general practitioner and get the swab test. And next day, eventually, if we do not have result of the swab test yet, he may go into protocol number two. If it is the dialysis day and he needs to come to the hospital, he immediately activates protocol number two. Finally, protocol number three is a suspicion COVID-19 infection in a hospitalized patient. We need to alert the swab team, separate patient from others, Treat patient as a suspected positive until swab response. Once you have the result, if the result is positive, he will be definitely hospitalized uh, and follow the uh, uh, area, uh, the, the patient isolation in COVID-19 area, intermittent dialysis at the bedside, dialysis machine need to stay in COVID area, and dialysis nurse will be present. Basically, exactly as the uh, protocol number two for positive patient. If the patient is negative, it will undergo regular dialysis. Finally, for those patients who require actually uh, treatment, we have three different options. And for the positive patient, if the patient is positive, we need to separate transportation from and to home, isolate at home from family members, access to treatment via COVID pathway, and finally, dialysis in center in specific COVID session. If hospitalized, we have already described this condition. And if requires intensive care unit, uh, we need to send him to a specific isolated area, insert a catheter because this patient may need prone positioning. The CRRT machine should stay there. And factually, <clears throat> we need prescription compatible with pronation. So at the end of the uh, general description, 
we have uh, a flowchart that allows us to manage uh, HD patients. So far, so far we were able to have only six suspect patients. No one of them is positive. So we are at this moment still at zero cases in our dialysis community with 180 patients <clears throat> currently treated in three different uh, dialysis units. With this, I thank you very much for uh, uh, following today's cappuccino with us. We are running, we are a little bit tired, we are exhausted, but uh, we fight the virus uh, to get uh, the best for our patient. One more recommendation, make sure that your personnel wear protection devices and special coats when treating positive patients, because we need to preserve the integrity of the team in order to treat the best our patient. With this, have a wonderful day. Mm. Cappuccino, excellent.